It's Minecraft! Yes, we're playing through Minecraft. Uh, this game is just plain awesome, and I felt it's time to just play through it because it's fun, and I would definitely like commentating on it. And um, recently, I've been doing, also, I've been testing out my channel, doing gameplays and stuff, and I felt that what I really like doing is playthroughs because on my previous channel, I would do playthroughs. And gameplays are cool with me, but reviews aren't cool with me, and I'd rather do playthroughs. So you're gonna see a lot more let's plays. I'm gonna start with Minecraft. I might continue the blacklight gameplays. I might do a little bit, but not as much. Because I'd rather do what I like doing, which is Let's Plays. So as you can see, I call it Source Code 240, because I had this thing in the past where um, I called it I called my world Source Code 130, and every time the world got deleted because of hardcore mode, I would increase by 10 intervals. So the next world would be called Source Code 140, 150, and so on and so forth. So this is world 240. So you can see, I've had many a world being deleted from me because I've been stupid and I would not last in a hardcore world for more than like five seconds which is why we're not playing on hardcore mode also if you look in the bottom bottom top right hand corner you'll see a mini map that is thanks to a mod I got from a friend of mine's it's called Ray's mini map I might put in the I might put the link in the description for anyone who's interested um, so basically it's a mini map, you can set waypoints, it shows you your death, uh, death location and stuff, and yeah. Now, I got it recently, I've only, I haven't used it for more than like 5 hours, well, more like a day. I only used it for like 5 hours again last night, and uh, I was actually wondering if it would really be a good idea to include it in this walkthrough, I mean not walkthrough, playthrough, let's play, whatever, because it kind of gets rid of the natural gameplay of Minecraft in a way. But at the same time, I was thinking that you guys might be a bit annoyed when I end up getting lost and not being able to find my house for hours on hours on end. So I decided, you know what? Whatever. So I decided not to get rid of the minimap. So the minimap's just gonna stay. It won't annoy you too much. It's not too much of a cheap cheat. It's not like Cartographer. It doesn't show me where ores are. It can show me where slimes spawn, but I'm not gonna use it for cheating in any way. I mean, heck, I never actually look at the map anyways. But I'm just too lazy to uninstall it, so I'm just gonna leave it there. The only time in the, play, uh, in the let's play you'll ever actually see me use it is when I die. And it automatically puts a death marker, so... Right. Um, and another time you might see me use it is when I set a home. And I'll probably put a marker so I never get lost. And you guys won't have to see me aimlessly walking around. And we'll have more mining, more slaying, more building. Um, I might not record my building though. You guys probably don't want to see me because I take forever to build personally. So, that is that. Alright. That was a mouthful. Holy crap. <sighs> okay. So, um, I want to get some more logs because, personally, I always start off New Worlds with around 11 logs to get me started. That usually works. And, uh, I see we spawned in the middle of a jungle biome. Which, I personally... I hate spawning in jungle biomes. I mean, I don't know why. They have tons of trees. I don't, there's nothing wrong with jungle biomes. It's just that in my past hardcore worlds, I've always spawned in a jungle biome. And I always ended up dying within the jungle biome. So I don't know why, but like, this biome is like cursed for me. Like, bad things always happen to me when I'm within this biome. All the time. Like, no matter what happens, bad things happen to me. So I'm kind of afraid of what's going to happen. I'm probably, who knows, maybe there's going to be a creeper that jumps out of nowhere. Even though it's like daytime, or maybe there's gonna be like a thunderbolt, or it's gonna be like a flying TNT block that's just gonna like that. I don't know. I don't know. I just do not like jungle biomes. They are very, very unlucky for me. So we're just gonna go ahead and craft our basic tools, which is going to be a pick, a shovel, and a sword. Um, I'm not sure if I want to craft an axe. Uh, whatever, let's, let's, let's craft an axe anyways. I'll craft a hoe later on, but not, what am I doing? I'll craft a hoe later on, but not now. Not at this point, maybe later. Anyways, I feel really happy, because there's coal right near to where we spawned, which I'm very happy of, because, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I make a new world, like, I don't worry about finding a house or diamonds, I always worry about finding coal. Like whenever I start a new world, I like never, ever, ever find any cold near to me. And it's always like time keeps passing by and night shows up and I find myself with no torches. And that sucks. Now if we can find some sheep, 
that will really help because a bed is almost essential on the first day and well basically at any night in Minecraft even though in later parts we're probably gonna see ourselves just going out and hunting for EXP and drops but in the first nights of Minecraft I don't think we really want to be out there so like I said um, some people are probably gonna hate on me for using this minimap but I'm just too lazy to get rid of it it doesn't really help me much anyways it just shows me my surroundings and my concentration is never on the minimap anyways so it's like it's almost as if it's not there so right don't mind it too much it's not it's not like I'm using inventory editor because I actually do not have inventory editor so you guys don't have to worry about me randomly opening up a part one day and you're gonna see me with 64 buckets of lava because that can't happen because I don't plan on getting inventory editor anytime soon um uh, right, I think we have enough coal. Where should we make our house, though? Actually, why don't we make our house right here? That's what I was thinking. Why don't we make our house right in front of... Well, I don't know. I kind of want to, but I kind of want to just go forward. I kind of just want to settle down here, but I just kind of want to keep exploring, see what we find. Maybe we'll find an even better place to settle in. I don't know. These cows are moving like crazy. I don't know what they want from me. Probably because I killed like half of their population. And uh right. Mountain. That's cool. I love making houses on top of mountain tops. Oh hey look, sugar canes. And a burning zombie! You know, I don't understand where these random zombies come from. Probably because of the shade of this giant mountainous figure. Or something. I don't know. Wait, okay, I'm scared that zombie's just gonna just Yep, I hear it. I don't know where it is. Where are you, zombie? I will slay you with my sword! Or maybe I'll just let, let you just stay there. Because if you fall from there, you're going to take quite a bit of damage. Huh. Okay, so this looks like a nice place to settle in. I'm just going to take these sugar canes, because sugar canes are awesome, because they make sugar. And, well, they're defensive against arrows, right? I'm pretty sure that's what I heard. And I'm going to make my house probably on top of that um, flat, kind of plateau-y area. Well, actually, we're in the middle of a plateau right now. Duh, that zombie's just stuck there, and I'm glad, and I swear I see a spider. Oh, no, it's not a spider, it's just a... You know what really annoyed me about Minecraft lately? How these random black shadow... Oh, my freaking god, it's a zombie! Where the... Where the freak did this zombie come from? Why are there random zombies? You aren't supposed to be out. It's daytime. It's... You guys are all nocturnal. You're not supposed to be out right now. It's not healthy for you to be out, because you burn. Ah. <sighs> Okay, I don't know what's up with these zombies. Anyways, um, I don't see any sheep, and I'm not sure if the sun's setting. It's almost about to set. Wait, why am I on fast? Wait, hold on. Why am I on fast? Uh, I don't know. Whatever, I'm just not gonna bother with it. All right, so I'm gonna go up there, make a dirt shack, cause we don't really. I don't think we have enough resources to make the most awesome house right now, but soon we will. And when we do, it'll be awesome. But, oh, got lag. Oh, but, but, okay. But, for now, we're just gonna make maybe like a small, not super small, but kind of small, dirt house. Are all the way at the top of this awesome plateau of awesomeness with one tree! Which we will not break because, just because. Alright. Well, you can see a ton of place from here. It's all foggy because of my render distance. Hold on. I'm gonna set it to far. I'm not sure why. I always leave it on far, even though I don't have 64-bit. I don't have a 64-bit computer, but I leave it on far anyways. Because I can! And it's free. It's true, it is free. Mine well, actually, no, it's not. Minecraft is not free. And no, this is not the torrented version. I did buy it. I actually... As funny as it sounds, I actually bought Minecraft. Because there's lots of people I know that don't. I'm not sure why you wouldn't want to buy Minecraft. I mean, it's a great game. They deserve the money. Mojang definitely deserves the money to make this awesome game. And with tons of updates, like, every month, to add tons of great stuff, I see no reason why you should not buy this game. There's no reason why you shouldn't buy this game. If you haven't bought this game, you should. So, for people who have not played Minecraft, you should. For people who do play Minecraft, play it more. For people who've never heard of, heard of Minecraft, shame on you. Well, not really. Not everyone's have heard of Minecraft, but... Today's society, how can you not hear of Minecraft? Now, do I have enough wood to make a door? Yes, I do. 
Uh, we're just gonna make it just high enough. This back one's gonna be higher because of yeah. Now, usually when I have worlds, I usually almost always spawn right next to sheep, and I always get a bed on the first night. But this time I seem to be a lot more unlucky, and have ran into no sheep so far. But I have this epic plateau mountain awesomeness which I am very happy to explore and if my minecraft knowledge is good enough I see tons of floating islands which usually means that there is a cavern nearby and I am excited don't oh crap what is this oh oh crap well doesn't that suck hmm Okay, well guys, we ran out of memory, so I guess this will be a good time to call it a part. Alright guys, that's the end of part one. I'll see you all later with more Minecraft.